Yeah. I don't need the second hero right now. Although I will need it after I defeat these guys. What? These guys are suicidal. But they're fast. But they have, like, no defense at all. <laughs> this is an unfortunate place to be. You shouldn't put ogres at the bottom. Because they need to go to places. And they're slow. Oops. It gives you one hour per day. Right. Level 5. Gee. Oh, yeah. And you go here. I don't want to learn something that I can't use.
kidding me? Tyraxor himself was a wolf rider captain. Having finally joined the ranks of Krulod's heroes after sniffing out a Italian ambush during a long march along the border of the two nations. And I don't know why what the description here is doing, because neither Krulod nor Tatalia exists at this time. Take the style question then. First this. I'm level five. I'll give him the thing. Um yeah. The stoic watchman, I don't need it, so I'll just go here. Right, the castle. What do you know of, your, of our history? You asked the older warrior sitting across from you at the dinner. You've been asking your elders what they know of barbarian history, hoping that someone could tell you more about the past glories of your people. But you found their knowledge lacking. Most haven't even heard of the name of Charg. The warrior looks up from his meal, shrugs. As much as anyone, my grandfather said he used to be a great nation. The greatest. But he didn't have all his wits. Maybe it's true, but no more. Everything falls, I guess. Even a great oak, a thousand years old, will fall one day. You're impressed with the man's honest response, but annoyed that this veteran couldn't tell you more. How do you know who you are if you don't know where you came from? Is that why the wizards outlawed the bards? You extend your hand and ask, What's your name? Hardak, answers the warrior. Sails in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. An old witch who seems to have been expecting you hands you a small statue and departs, never having said a word. Stoic watchman. This figurine increases your eagle eye skill by 10%. I don't have eagle eye. Stupid game. Let's do experience. And resistance or tactics. In fact, resistance is a good thing to have for your secondary heroes. Alright. Oh, we can visit the window. Falhala, Freelancer's Guild, the Breeded Orc Tower. I need the Cliff Nest and the Wolf Man. Which means we need more logs. logs, you don't use logs, so we'll take it. Sitting alone last night, you pondered the tragic loss of your people's history. You haven't been able to find a single person who knows the tale of Jari and his horde. Some, pretending to be wise, made up some ridiculous story instead of admitting ignorance. Then a solution comes to mind. You tell your people to pass the word that you are looking for bards. Any who are brave enough to step from hiding will be under your protection. If your people are ever going to reclaim their courage, they need to rediscover their identity. And 
Only the parts hold those secrets. That's sort of interesting. Let's take the full sum. Search through the full sum and find some wood and some gold. Hello there, Krillian. Lots and several. Sea chest. After spending hours trying to fish the chest out of the sea, you open it and find 1,500 gold. Also, one thing to note. Don't stand near the shore. That means enemies can attack you. Always keep at least one square distance from the shore. Let's take that. Let's go here. Right, the resource silo. I'll take it. Let's see. Shipwreck survivor. You've pulled a shipwreck survivor from a certain death in an unforgiving ocean. Grateful, he rewards you your act of kindness by giving you the Ring of Life. Ring of Life. The siphon increases the health of all your humans by plus one. And that means that it's useful for low level creatures. And full sun. You're enjoying the sea wind in your hair until most of the sailors strip out their sashes and draw their weapons. Rebecca has placed a hefty sum on your head, says the leader. A sum we plan to collect. 